It makes me feel quite emotional to see this. Liberté. Liberty. Égalité. Equality. Fraternité. Fraternity. That's the French national motto. But it seems only for some. A government ban on pro-Palestine demonstrations. If you show your face, you might have repercussions. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I will. I probably will. Everything is just so f Do you feel like there's a lot of racism like this in Paris? Yeah, of course. As thousands took to the streets to show solidarity with Gaza and Palestine, France once again showed that not everyone has the right to free speech. France is a very complicated place. Yeah. I went to Paris to understand the reality on the ground and to find out what resistance looks like in the face of banned protests and the repression of rights. It's an amazing story of defiance, of solidarity, and how people coming together can really change things. Hey dude, what's up? <laughs> Let's try it again. Hey man. Hey Tuan, what's up? What are we doing today? We're going to Paris. I was going to say we're, we're going through the British country, you know, but... I just made a video about French colonialism of Algeria, and I don't think the French will like it very much. <laughs> but you know, you know, one thing actually that was very interesting in my research about Algeria is that, in, I think in the 60s, I think in 1961, yeah. Algerians uh, in Paris were protesting against the, the colonization of Algeria by France. And they shot and killed the protesters. And those protesters have not received justice till today. Like a lot of this institutionalized racism, you see it when um, it relates to issues around things like Palestine, uh, but also the brown and black population of France. Fascinating place. Macron, here we come. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Tuan and I have had very bad luck filming protests. It started raining, as you can see, umbrellas are up. Habib, yeah. Habib, Habib, Habib. We're on for tomorrow. They're gonna to be organizing everything before heading to the march, so we're gonna meet them there. Gaza, represented. It's incredibly rainy, as you can see. I wonder if that's gonna affect the turnout for the protest today. France has banned all pro-Palestinian protests. Initially, we were not allowed to show solidarity with Gaza or Palestine, but it didn't stop them. Protesters demonstrated and gathered here in spite of that ban. And at the moment, we're on our way to meet some of the organizers, to talk to them about how they um, have challenged the ban on the protests early on and are fundamentally shifting the conversation in France about what's happening in Palestine. I think what's, what's interesting with France, it's also how they responded to cases of, of, of defiance and protest to the state. I mean, not too long ago, the police killed a Arab boy, Nael. What do you think uh, of what happened? Well, uh, in France, I'm not justice. No justice? No. An explosive moment for France. A teenager shot dead after police stopped his car in the Paris suburb of Nanterre. The boy, identified by authorities only as Nahel M, is reported to be of North African descent. The cry here was, no justice, no peace. The anger goes much deeper than the death of one teenager. Many say has become a systematic zero tolerance policy carried out by French police, especially against those from poor and minority communities. Can I ask you a question? Do you think if Nile was white, would he would he would they kill him? No, I think no. 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 Just is a, a Arab, Arab and a Muslim. Yeah. He killed. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like there's a lot of racism like this in France? Yeah, of course. They don't like uh, immigrant people, uh, black, uh, uh, Arab. Arab. Brown, yeah. 
then why did they go colonize the world, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's also part of the extension of the initial repression we were seeing in relation to the Palestinian protests. And it's all, it's all connected. And I think at the heart of it is uh, France's colonial past and present, and how not having dealt with that, it permeates every part of the state and, and the way society is dealt with, especially if you're brown or black. Salim et Palestiniens. Uh, Ralph, Ralph nice to meet you. you're in the middle of the organization, yeah. the logistics and the politics Amazing. of the demonstration of today here in the Confédération Nationale du Travail, which is an uh, anarchist uh, organization. organization, trade union. What is this? What is this say? Okay, for de Gaza à Paris, from Gaza to Paris, resistance. And also here is the. Uh, we talk about this place. Historically, uh, yeah, it's uh, really uh, an anarchist uh, space. So since the World War II, Spanish uh, resistance. They were here. We took this place. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow. it's really a historical place to be. Can I ask you why? Why is a Lebanese person do you support Palestine? Why is it important to you? Uh, because for me, we're all the same. We're all brothers. For me, I, I'm not in the the protest. I'm not. A, it's not my work. Yeah. I, actually, I'm a, in the music industry. I'm a DJ. I yeah. organize parties. But what can I do with my uh, with at my at my uh, time at my yeah. space? I can just help with my the sound system. Yeah. At the beginning, beginning yeah. yeah, it was like no, you don't have the right to to protest. You are a Palestinian, uh, a pro-Palestinian, so you don't have the right to protest. So. It makes us even more yeah. wanting to, to protest, you yeah. know? Since when is right based on ethnicity or nationality <laughs> really? or religion, yeah. right? And so we have to we have to mm -hmm. fight, but it's hard. Honestly, it's, it's hard. hard for everybody hard. because you just want to go to a peace manifestation and then you get a 130 euro fine. Yeah. Everybody's struggling to just eat and close the months. Yeah. And so they are doing everything they can to just to shut dis you discourage. Down. Yeah. yeah, to shut us down. The thousands of people who gathered said that ban or no ban, they had to make their voices heard. They were met with tear gas, police brutality, arrests, detainment and heavy fines. But it didn't stop them. And eventually, with increasing pressure from protests and undeniable images of horror from Gaza, the ban was eventually lifted. You asked us not to film your face yeah. for safety reasons, right? Of course, I do not enjoy, let's say, the, the luxury, let's say, at least what is perceived today, the luxury of being European or yeah. uh, someone from the Western world. So I've been uh, living in France for the last 10, 11 years. I'm not sure if I do have the right today as an Arab and as a non-Western person to express my opinion freely uh, as any other person who lives in this country. France is a very complicated place. Yeah. We have a big problem, which is a problem of colonialism. Yeah, racism it is. Yeah. In France, yeah. just like the Israelis, the French government is afraid of the, of the, of the strength and the power not only of the Palestinians, but all, all of the Arabs and Muslims and their friends here In who France. refuse yeah. colonialism and racism. French politicians in the media have been very clear about which side they're on. Our support and solidarity and share your pain. La manière dont ils ont été tués, elle, elle est différente et elle, elle mm -hmm. part de notre inhumanité ou de notre humanité. La haine du juif, la haine de l'Occident et donc la haine de la France. C'est la guerre des civilisations, vraiment. This is rooted in an increasingly right-wing atmosphere in France, where people who are brown, black, or Muslim are seen as incompatible with the French way of life. Pas du tout. They seem to order her to remove some of her clothes, enforcing the so-called burkini ban. It is institutional and traces back to France's colonial legacy. Six decades ago, 200 Algerians were murdered by French police. Fatal shooting of a 17-year-old in Paris. From the very beginning, we made it clear we have a common struggle against racism, against police violence, against racist police violence. The liberation of Palestine is our liberation, all of us. Of course, as brown, Muslim, Arabs, but also as French people, as human beings, uh, this oppression is uh, what we are fighting together. All right. Okay.
don't, you cannot tell. You, know. you cannot tell the people how to identify. I'm sitting on the speakers right now. Best ride in the world, five stars. If you're enjoying this episode, make sure to subscribe to Uncivilized. Uh, we're about to walk to Republique, which is the square where the march is taking place. And we're going to ask people why they support Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you speak English? Hi, I'm Palestinian from Palestine. And I'm asking people why they are here supporting Palestine. Can I ask you? I don't think I'm the right person. Why? Uh, well, I don't think it's going to be good. Like, I, whatever from the heart. Okay. So why why are you supporting? Why are you here today at the march? Because I think I believe in the liberation of all people, and I think it's very important that we stand here with them so that they know that they're not alone, and that they know that they're not you know, surviving all by themselves. I think it's important that people around the world stand up with them. And it's kind of the only thing that we can do to support them, so yeah. Well, thank you for that, that was yeah. really good. Yeah. Thank you so much, what's your name? Elodie. Amazing, so much love. I want to ask you why are you coming today to the conversation with the Palestinian Palestine? Palestine is a mother, and Lebanon is a land. بس انا بالنسبه لي فلسطين هي رمز الحريه لكل العالم من عندهم انطلقت الحريه ونحن لازم نتعلم منهم من تحت الرماد عم يتنفسوا نحن كلنا قاعدين بالف خير وانا بتمنى 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 يعني من كل قلبي انه يتغير العالم كله من الشيء اللي هلا بده يصير كل العالم تفهم شو معنى الحريه والديمقراطيه والسلام ان شاء الله we should not be fooled by Israel pinkwashing strategy and it's important that uh, we do not uh, subscribe to you know this narrative that uh, there is Israel on the one side that is you know the civilized uh, thing among the barbarians in the Middle East do you want to add anything no that was good that was good <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you for being here where are you guys from? I'm from Lebanon nice. and Syria. I'm from Morocco and I was born here. Amazing. So why do you? Why are you at the march today? Why do you support Palestine? Um, actually, I would say that we here not because it's Palestine, but because a genocide is committing right now. You? Well, me, I'm here for justice because people are dying uh, in, in an unjust way, and I'm here because the state of Palestine has the right to exist. The solidarity is electric, the energy is electric. It's unbelievable. It's been unfair what's happening right now, and as a human being, and also I've been to Palestine, I'm very, very sensitive to the cause, and I'm very sensitive to the cause of Gaza right now, and, um, and for Palestine to be free and uh, uncolonized. If you look there, they're carrying in a white sheet many Palestinian children. Men and women have been killed and buried without a proper burial because of the constant and mass atrocities that Israel is committing against Palestinians. I like your sign. I really like your sign. Can I interview you? Just ask you why you're here supporting Palestine today. Sure, of course, yeah. I mean, it's just supporting humanity at this point. There's no difference in Palestinians and humanity at this point. Everything is just so f***ed up. Can I say f***ed up? Yes, you can. It's so f***ed up in the world. I'm tired of the victim complex of Israel. They're committing genocide. It's not okay. Children do not belong in war. There's doctors that are dying every single day. For what? For, for being courageous. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Thank you. So, can we see your sign again, the other side? Every single day. I cry every single day. I have a daughter who's two years old. I see the images online. I, I can't take it. My heart is literally broken. I hope that this ends soon. Inshallah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, that was powerful.
I mean, it's pouring rain. It's coming down so hard, and people are just walking, marching. It's unbelievable. These were protests that only a few weeks ago were banned, and people were, came out. People came out to the street, sunshine, rain, it didn't matter. And week after week, they put more pressure on the government, on Macron, and we've seen the impact. These babies, these ladies, these old people are bombed and killed. So there is no reason for that and no legitimacy. So we do urge Israel to stop. And it shows you that protesting, mobilizing collectively has an impact. It works. And we're seeing it in France. It makes me feel quite emotional to see this, to see the level of this support here. One way to support our work is to become a member of our Patreon. Your contribution will go to making more videos and telling stories that are underrepresented or erased.